guys and welcome i am tanika hicks also known as coach hicks from hicks consulting services and i am going to go into another opportunity that came out this morning so as you can see this one is the city of newport news they just released an opportunity for storm debris monitoring services i'm going to go in there and open that up <clears throat> So here we are with another, I'm sorry, I'm reading and talking. So this is the RSP. Let me go down and make sure. Yes, this is the actual RSP. The other one was the RFQ because they were trying to get some quotes to see how much people was going to um, charge them for those services. So check out that previous video. That one was about cleaning my building. Anyway, so this is storm debris monitoring services. This is something that's very important for our cities. If you are not familiar with the city of Newport News, it is one, it is basically a peninsula. So there's a lot of water. There's always water issues. Um, we get storms. And I can see them having a lot of debris out there and they can't keep up with all of it from the actual city employees. So I can see this being a thing. Okay, as you can see, I went into the, no, I'm going to go to the vendor questionnaire. I always do that. This is generally where you apply as a vendor. You go in and put your information about your business, all of these things. Okay. They're going to ask you a lot of questions and a lot of times, say if you don't have certain things, they do, once you review the RFP in its entirety, you are able to see the things that you need. And if you don't have them, sometimes they will give you 30 days to have whatever document, however many, however many days. So, yes. All right. Then I'm going to the introduction. As you can see, it says the city of Newport News is seeking proposals for qualified firms to furnish goods and or services described in this proposal. So down here, it says the, the purpose of this RFP is to solicit proposals to furnish, provide, and pro, it'll provide monitoring services to include management, comprehensive observation, and documentation of contractor or city of Newport News or account resources performing disaster degrees and removal work. Okay, so the monitoring services provided must be performed utilizing an automatic debris management system that has the attributes and capacities required in this RFP. So then they go into the background um, about the city down here and of course they go ahead and they put the date that it was released which was today September the 26th 2023 and the questionnaire deadline is October the 16th um, at 1 p.m. so generally you want to make sure you get that deadline in at least a day before like you don't want to play with those deadlines and you don't want to be disrespectful and do it after 1 p.m. so Okay, the questionnaire proposal, no, the question question <laughs> submission deadline, basically this questionnaire is due by 1 p.m. on October the 16th, but the proposal itself, the deadline is October the 26th of 2023, and by 5 p.m., by, by the time they close, okay? So, we have the submission requirements and evaluation. And we already covered the that, um, deadlines for that, um, price proposal, um, evaluation of proposals. So this is all of the information for this RFP on that part. Okay, so the technical proposal format, they're basically telling you what they need in this proposal. They're giving you the play the format this is what they need the first i'm not going to read everything but of course the first one it says an executive summary that provides a narrative prepared 
in non-technical terms summarizing the proposal, okay? So that is the technical proposal format and the scope of work. Um, they have an attachment here that you will have to click and it'll tell you pretty much everything. It says the scope, the scope of works for this project can be viewed and downloaded in the attachments. So we haven't gotten to the attachments yet. Sometimes the scope of work is already laid out here, but this might be lengthy or it depends on the, um, the department that's putting it out. So they do theirs different. As you can see, this is the Office of Purchasing, but, okay. Now we have the evaluation criteria. And that's basically laying it out. It says the firm and staff experience and qualification. So if you have a team of professionals that you work with, um, that you say if you say if it's five different business owners or owners and you have different skill sets and you create a comprehensive crew that work well together you can go ahead and list those up here and then of course the capability and understanding a lot of times people go ahead and have their capability statements available they list any type of past experience that they've already had subcontracting is a great way to get into being able to have your own um just different things rate schedule um management plans swam participation so if you already have your um swam certification okay so that's the criteria that they're going to base everything on okay so they want to know like you have to have all of these things look right this this is how they're going to judge your proposal they give you everything that's needed to be successful pretty much right here and if you have any questions you always go ahead and reach out to the procurement um officer that's over the proposal so general insurance requirements for this particular um debris removal uh contract potential contract they talk about a uh, commercial general liability or auto um, liability that's needed, umbrella liability, workers' compensation, like all of those things. Okay. And don't get intimidated by a lot of this stuff because if you do everything the right way, it won't be that hard. But like, honestly, you can just if you don't have all of these things, you can you can partner with someone else as well okay so standard terms and conditions basically all of that is here you can read through that um contract specific terms and conditions they have different sections they have questions of each um proposal conference contractor qualification so of course there's always qualifications when it depends on certain jobs um of course, you have to make sure you adhere to any type of safety, if anything, electrical wise. You definitely want to make sure these people are qualified to do your services. So that's, you know, yeah, so pricing proposal. Um, this is a pricing proposal of the rates. Like if you look down here where it says utilization of ADMS monitoring approach. So 1.1, 1 .1, it says project manager with vehicle. You would have to put down how much that project manager with vehicle would cost. I'm um, like basically you're going rates for that. And you you basically put the quotes in. And this is basically a, um, a spreadsheet where you go ahead and add that in there. We already went over the um, general questions and attachments, of course, this is where you will find the work of scope, a sample contract, and a contract provision, contract provisions for federally funded projects. Um, all of those are under the download as well. Um, soon to read everything. Um, 
agenda and note, there aren't any going there. And then lastly, question and answer. So yeah, this one, as you can see, it says it has 30 days remaining, five hours and 36 minutes. So if you want to take advantage of that opportunity, go for it.